Welcome to my YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this video, we discuss the applications of derivative. Learning objectives: number one, define absolute extrema; number two, define local extrema; number three, explain how to find the critical points of a function over a closed interval; and number four, describe how to use critical point points to locate absolute extrema over a closed interval absolute extrema absolute extrema means absolute maximum and absolute minimum definition let f be a function defined over an interval i and let c belongs to i and we say that f has an absolute maximum on given interval i at c if the value of the function at c is greater than or equal to value of the function at x and such that for all uh, uh, x belongs to y and x is belongs to i and uh, given interval uh, similarly we say that f has an absolute minimum on uh, i at uh, c uh, if uh, the value of the function at c is less than or equal to uh, the values of the function at x and such that uh, for all values of x belongs to y uh, x, x is belongs to our given interval okay uh, so this uh, this is the condition for absolute minimum and this is the condition for absolute maximum uh, so uh, if f has an absolute maximum on i at c or an absolute minimum on i at c we say that f has an absolute extremum on i at c locating absolute extrema means finding absolute maximum and minimum uh, location of absolute extrema means where does the absolute maximum and absolute minimum will occur in the given interval so let f be a continuous functions uh, over a closed interval or a bounded interval i the absolute maximum of a function f over a closed interval i and the absolute minimum of a function f over uh, interval i must occur at the end point of the interval i or the critical points of a function f in i so this mean uh, the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of the function uh, will occur at the end point of the interval i or uh, the critical points of f in i uh, oh, and we, here we have a condition for uh, the function function should be continuous over the closed or the bounded interval i i will provide the link in video description about the continuity of a function okay and uh, so next we have uh, uh, the uh, problem solving strategy how we solve the problem and how we uh, find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum uh, so uh, locating absolute extrema over a closed interval i and uh, this is the condition and if, uh, here we have a, a closed interval the interval should be closed uh, okay next consider a continuous function f defined over a over the closed interval a b and so first step we have we will find the value of the function at the end point of the interval evaluate uh, the function f at the end point uh, x is equal to a and x is equal to b first we find the value of the function at the end point of the interval and then find all critical points of function that lies over the open interval and evaluate the uh, function at those critical points now uh, third we have what we do uh, we will compare all values found in one and two we compare all these values that we have already found in uh, one step one and step two next uh, the absolute extrema must occur at the end point or the uh, critical means and the maximum absolute maximum and absolute minimum uh, will occur at the end points or the uh, critical points okay therefore the largest the largest and uh, these values is and the absolute maximum of f the smallest of these values is the absolute minimum of this so okay example 
find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum over the specified interval and state where those values occur f of x is equal to minus x square and plus 3x minus 2 uh, with interval 1 comma 3 ok uh, this is our given function and we have to find the absolute maximum and minimum uh, and this is the closed interval uh, so we know that uh, first we find the value of the function at the end point of the interval so uh, uh, our first step is uh, evaluate uh, f at the end points x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 so the value of the function at x is equal to 1 and that is 0 and the value of the function at x is equal to 3 is minus 2 so next step we uh, have we uh, will find the uh, critical all critical values and then we evaluate the function at uh, uh, critical points okay uh, so uh, next step is uh, find all critical point points of f that lies over the interval and uh, ab and evaluate f at those critical points uh, so uh, first we uh, take the derivative of this function and uh, this is the derivative of the function that is f prime of x is equal to minus 2x plus 3 uh, here we have some key points and uh, the derivative of the function f prime of x is defined for all real numbers x uh, so uh, we put f prime of x is equal to 0 and uh, we calculate the value of x mean we calculate the critical value okay uh, so after substituting f prime of x is equal to 0 uh, we get x is equal to uh, 3 by 2 and this is the uh, critical value and uh, we know uh, x is equal to uh, 3 by 2 is in the given interval x, uh, 1 comma 3 so next we evaluate the uh, value of the function uh, at x is equal to 3 by 2 and uh, that is uh, 1 by 4 and uh, next uh, we compare all values found in step 1 and, and step 2 ok and so and this column is for x values and and this is for value of the function at x and this is the conclusion ok and so at x is equal to 1 the value of the function is 0 and at x is equal to 3 by 2 that is our critical point and the value of the function is 1 by 4 and x is equal to and uh, 3 in the value of the function is minus 2 so uh, we uh, we can see that at uh, x is equal to 3 by 2 the value of the function is 1 by 4 and and this is our absolute maximum this, uh, this is the greatest value okay and uh, at x is equal to 3 the value of the function is minus 2 and this is our uh, absolute minimum and this is the smallest value okay and so uh, we conclude that uh, the absolute maximum of the function over the interval is uh, 1 by 4 and it occur at x is equal to yes 3 by 2 and uh, the absolute minimum is minus 2 and it occur occurs at x is equal to 3 so uh, we can see that with the help of graph and uh, the value absolute maximum and absolute minimum so this is the uh, graph of the given function and uh, at, we can see that here at this point in the, we have absolute maximum and at this point we have uh, absolute minimum. So absolute maximum is the greatest value of the function and absolute minimum is the smallest value of the function uh, in a given interval.